So this is a new video series called Hot Coffee, where I sit down, have a cup of coffee with a photographer, we have a conversation. This was filmed at Molasses Books in Bushwick, so if you're in the area, check them out. This very first episode features an incredible photographer in Dane Mannery. He goes by Undertone Communications on Instagram. Check him out, enjoy the video, and, and more Hot Coffee's coming out soon, so hit that subscribe button. What's up, Dane? What you been up to lately? Um, in the winter, lately I've been putting this together, chapter two, a pro probably three part little series. It'll be like a little box set is what I envision it. Just experimenting as I go with layout a lot, putting a sequence of images together, it's sort of poetic and unconscious. And Did you hand make this? These like little punch holes? Yes, yeah. Like just, I mean, I just got that machine a couple months ago and just, I really like contour cuts and like pa pages that are different sizes and little like oddball like personal personality in there you know you're gonna hand make all of them yeah so That's each crazy one. these are actually only the first few i have yeah. like the rest to go with these i just i like to just treat it as like a little scrapbook of like i just start to get a little like inkling of a thread like maybe a few pictures that i really like that go together and then i just like build from there just like one after the other and I just get really excited as i go it just kind of works it, it has this like thread throughout the people holding hands, repeating pattern throughout the inside. So I think it's kind of, it's kind of nice to see one and the other than the other. And you can sort of build this like uh, cerebral connections between them. What sparks the idea to make the scene? So, I mean, so much. I mean, it's like, it really goes back to, it goes back a long way for me. Like initially getting into photography and film and music and everything, um, zines and like punk zines and like DIY sort of stuff um, was like really formative for me. Like as I got older, it was like literary magazines and a lot more text. I just keep coming back to it as like a form. I'm just like, I'm like, it's such a good feeling to just like hand things to a few of my friends and then it'll sit like in a shoebox under your bed or it'll be like on your bookshelf like years from now and like you'll have like a little, some little thoughts that I had once, you know, yeah. it's kind of nice. For this one, I just like to treat them like chapters. It's like short form, but then it's also might be like a more of like a chat book at some point where it's like a substantial piece that like connects back and- So like this is chapter two, so you've already made chapter one. So think about chapter three, is that something you already have in your mind? That yes. You, you've already, you already know what you're gonna Not do? Not when I did chapter one. Chapter one, I just was like starting with the series and it, it felt like, I would, it felt like just a small chapter and I was like, I think I want to keep this going with this. And I just called it chapter one. And in a way it was like committing to making a chapter two, <laughs> like, cause I really didn't have anything in mind. And I just, I was just shooting for the past year. And then, and then it just like kind of hits me one day. I'm like, I'm like, ah, oh, I, I like those couple pictures. Like I'm start putting something together. I mean, you gotta like follow, um, like one inkling of inspiration. Like you really see, cause it's like, there's a lot of like just pure exploration. And then like when I get this little connection or I'm like, oh, that, those two, it could, be, it could be just like one or two or just like a phrase, a quote or something. And then like really seeing, I'm like, okay, like that leads to that. And then following it all the way through. And then maybe it'll culminate in a little sequence of images. It's not always there. Like I'm not always like putting one in front of the other in wandering. Like it does kind of like start to make connections. I'm like, like, oh, I really like this psychological like thread. And I think like this, if I translate it into something they can hold, I think they can like follow along with that, with that thread. And another thing I think about is like, like anchors in decision-making, like the, the layout of it really like uh, informs how I put it together. Cause like, I need to like make a decision and like, otherwise it could be anything. So I don't do anything. I just like, I'm like, this has to be a full spread or this has to go right here and, and sit like right in the, in the gutter of the book, just like this. And I'm like, okay, like I'm moving on because I, it just slides in like a puzzle piece right there. I think that's the next biggest thing is like, when do you know totally. when you got the final image for it to be like, okay, I'm, I'm, I'm past a point where I can call this done. You could just close it and be like, okay, that's, that's a zine. Yeah, it's like definitely a balance of, for these, the page count, like I can only sew so many sheets. 
So the constraint of the page count is something I really like, but also there's like a level of letting go. Just like moving on, feeling like ready. I'm like, I wanna like, I wanna sit down with you or like people and like hand it to someone and be like, hey, check it out. Like I've been thinking about this for a little while. And I do want to be unconventional and um, like my ideal size would be like a square that's like super oddball. But I do kind of come back to this size. It's like the palm of your hand. It just is particularly something I like is the filling up the whole space. Like a lot of books have a lot of white space and a lot of people talk about the value of like taking breaks or like a page break and or having breathing room. That's great too, but I, um, I just like to fill it all up. So yeah, like unusual things, yeah. kind of like head scratching things like about something like this. I, I feel like that's a good way to describe your photos too. Yeah, yeah very unconventional, head scratching. Yeah, you know, you're just in it looking at it going like what the hell is going on here? Like, totally. like that in that photo you have open like yeah. that one like what is going on with that door just in the on the crosswalk? The layout for these two are something I think about because I'm like the images are like otherworldly is what I'm want, wanting to sort of convey a, a surreal nature like in our super commonplace world like this super normal daylight intersection nothing really particularly off about it but then you like you're like that is so so off and then the layout is like for me i don't know if it translates but it's like a parallel universe to where it's like these are like intersections that yeah. feel like a like a parallel universe that's like upside down world like in our own world and that's like definitely a a feeling that I really love in other photographers work. I love to be like confused and, and kind of like look a little closer and be like, be like, what? I love like going to like, you know, like an art show or photo show and then like, and then just like walking outside with like totally washed eyes and you're like, oh my gosh, look at that person eating that pizza. Like you're just like totally stricken with it. You're like, that something is so strange about that. And then everyone's walking by or like, there's something so odd. And so the, the camera's a cool thing to like point directly at that silently. And then you're kind of like forced to be like, that's kind of a picture of nothing or like a picture of something rather simple, but you're also like, that's also so odd. For you, what makes a successful image? Ah, gosh, I don't know. It's, it, they really, it really changes. Cause I think for a while it was like a human a very human thing like as as like when i first started like taking pictures on the street or going around it was like a a craving for like a, a humanity or but then it sort of changes and a lot of a lot of the pictures in here there's no people there but there's still i think there's still a lot of times a human element like the a thing something that someone has placed there and they're no longer there yeah but i mean gosh what makes a picture is yeah just, I can't really answer it. There has to be some, um, I mean, a simple answer would be like some form of emotion. Or some story, mm -hmm. like something that you can come up with a story, um, which I think those two those two are kind of connected, right? Because like good stories are driven by emotions, so mm -hmm. they kind of go hand in hand. Yeah, I mean like what really pulls me in is like the protagonist and antagonist and, and some sort of like scene or, or um, conflict or whatever it is, push and pull. Um, but then now I'm like, it's like bringing it back down to like such a silence. Like some photos that I really like now are like so silent as, as could possibly be almost. It's just like a, a grass and a wall and you know what I mean? Like just so silent. And if, it, if you could still manage to like have something there, then it, that is really something I admire now. Just trying to like not be so in your face or so, so there, you know, like there's like, oh, there's a bright eyed, action flame going like uh -huh. image or i like just trying to like boil that down as much as possible yeah. to like that picture feels like the inside of my mind when i'm like sitting alone on a park bench with like no my eyes closed you know i mean just like really or dreaming going back to like what makes a picture it, it's like for me like a heaviness it has to have some weight it's like yeah hard to put words to but like some sort of weight it could be someone's expression or something like that, but some form of, of weight uh, that I tend to gravitate towards. But yeah, I think uh, something else I was thinking about for 
is like the unconscious um like following your unconscious i think people try to do that in different ways and like in like a, a flow or meditating or like trying to see what is in, in your unconscious and i think sometimes it's possible to do that through like taking pictures what what did you take pictures of what what did you find yeah what did you find there and then what did you di what did you not find is there anything like with your photography that you're like struggling with or trying to get over i mean yeah every day for sure probably not being so like fleeting maybe taking more time with someone that's like like what is your name what is your story and what is really what's there I, I have like a craving for like more and more like investigation with that and documentary so yeah I would say like taking more time what's the hardest part of, about that for you it's interesting like the hardest part New York is so um, amazing for like meeting someone in the park that you'll just like see repeatedly and then also get to know i mean it's so crazy how do i even know you is like i've seen you on the street like every week for the past like yeah. <laughs> like whatever amount of time um yeah at the same time new york is sort of transient and doesn't doesn't always like let you in to a an intimacy and so i think there's a, a lot of people you know out in the streets and in the parks like making pictures intimate pictures of other people but they're all there isn't always like that that knowing of like like what what is their relationship really like or what are, what are the complexities of that and like this this picture is like a really like heavy but like fleeting image in my mind is just like standing there and and this person came into the frame and just like stood around for like a good while i like in that moment is so had such curiosity didn't even speak to him at all which is kind of unusual sometimes when i'm, I'm around a little bit I'll ask where someone's going or what's going on, but I had such admiration for them, just the curiosity of like such a full backpack and it's like such an odd time, like where, what's happening and where you're going. And I just, yeah, I was really stricken with this. And then the person gets on the bus and goes away and then I'll never know. And those are feelings that I also really like too. It's just like, just like, oh man, I'm so curious. Like what's the mystery of like, who are you, where you're coming from? And like, how do you feel? And like what's going on because it seems like yeah i don't know that backpack looks really full and it looks like you're, you're going somewhere that's you're going to be traveling for a little while the fact that you don't know anything about them after they leave so you didn't get to know them like you were saying that you were trying to do does that make it more interesting for you because it's like there's more questions that are like oh i wonder what they're doing whereas if like if you talk to him you're like oh that's that's fred he's going to go to the coffee shop or go to the, the totally. bookstore yeah i mean it it depends i a lot of times i want I want the the mystery so much um but a lot of times i love like it's really fulfilling personally to like take time speaking to someone when you first introduce yourself start talking to somebody at what point do you start photographing like when is that line crossed all over the place sometimes i try to snap a couple photos just in case they're they're not as inviting or something so i be like a lot of times I'm just taking a couple pictures. It's like sometimes I'll be like, hey, by the way, like, like I'm just curious, like, what are you, what are you up to? Like, what's, what is that? And then it's so nice when someone gets really warm and inviting. That is so nice. Like, you know, I love you. You're sitting there on that park bench and you're like just taking time with that. And it's really like maybe, maybe, maybe if I'm out photographing and I'm feeling like alienated or like isolated or trying to connect you know with the world around me i'm like i'm like wow like that you know it's just like i can sit down and think about what i'm thinking about in my craft and just like really take refuge in that you know what i mean i know some photos of yours off the top of the head that just has text or like posters in the background yeah i feel like that's something that like, you're really good at like i, I think that the big one is the the time's up one with the the union square clock yes yeah that one's a really good totally photo. i mean yeah those are no, that's another thing the, it just clicks. I don't know why I got enamored. That times, the climate clock is always there. For, for some reason, I was enamored with it on that day. I was sitting on the sidewalk trying to make a picture of it. And then like that person walks by and I'm just like, wow. Paying a little bit of attention to like a pattern or something, like something just blares right out at you that is like just so crazy about freaking life. Like, and I'm looking for patterns too. Like I see one sort of thing see something else that kind of like I like goes with it 
and then it's like see something else they're just like oh my gosh when i'm in that like thought process or train of thought like the things just like appear to you like like magic which is like definitely a feeling i'm trying to go for you know i mean i think like it's so connected like photo photographing on the street you're one foot in front of the other and you're walking and like that is like you're kind of like un unwinding your brain sometimes sometimes you're winding it up you know like your train of thought and like you haven't taken a picture for a couple hours and you're just you know like swimming in thought that practice is so crazy about that form you're just like you're moving through and the world's passing by you and it's really really interesting like the things that will come up for instance like trying to like be so um present and mindful enough to notice and then also like letting go and like also just kind of trying to get in the unconscious and then like coming back to like really paying a lot of attention to like every little thing in your periphery and then i also love just like totally spacing out and totally like swimming in my own mind like even looking at this finished thing that i made i, I look at it now and i'm like why did I do that? Like, it's so weird. Like, I'm like, I really think about the unconscious when I'm looking at this. I'm like, this could have been anything or like this, I could have been anywhere and put something together. And I'm like, I'm like, wow, like, so I feel like I'm looking at my unconscious a little bit. You gotta do what, what works for you. A lot of times not taking pictures is, is what I do. And a lot of it's just like, yeah, thinking and yeah, choosing not to take the picture. It's so tough about like, what what we do is like the instinct is like just go for it and think later but um i've like done it for long enough to be like be like that's not who you are like you think like way oh way too much sometimes like before taking a picture often sometimes obviously you just snap one but like definitely the way i do things is probably to stare at it for a good while or just see what happens follow it down the street um before like interacting or making a picture um, tends to work a little bit more for me. I feel like I have so many more questions to ask, but I, just for the viewer's sake, I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, maybe we do a part two in the future. Yeah. Let, let everybody know how they can, you, are you selling this to the public, where they can, where they can yeah. get it or where they can follow your work in general? I'm not going to have very many of them, just not by design, but just like I, I make them by hand, like cut them and sew them. But they'll be on my website, uh, danemannery.com and um, yeah, my Instagram, Undertone Communication, and feel free to say hi or ask anything or, and talk about it. I, I tend to have a lot of say about books and um, layout and printing in general. Been like doing that for a good good while, so feel free to say something. Yeah, all right, appreciate it. Everybody go follow Dane on Instagram and check out his book if you're lucky, if you're lucky to get a copy. So appreciate it. Thanks for having coffee with me, man. Thank you. Yeah. Now when they see us in the streets, all they want